not down. That's a terrible weld, I know. Let me show you how close this is. <laughs> oh boy. But listen. Ooh, purple. Okay. okay. Bright and early on uh, Saturday morning. Today's April. April. 13th, 908 in the morning. I got here like 840. I had to get ready, I had to find the black trucks keys. Uh today should be a productive day. Oh, these dogs scared shit at me. Car pulling up. I don't like recording in front of people. <laughs> I'm not all the way comfortable yet. <laughs> but um uh, we're at the shop. I'm over here getting the black truck. They had to pull the black truck out of the shop because they had obviously other customers coming in. We got air truck right here, we got my truck right here, boxes and shit, parts all in the back. So, so far as what she's looking like, not much has got done since the last YouTube video, except that the whole carburetor and everything is all hooked up, wired up, very good. I got these in place real good. I don't know if you saw my five things I hate about uh, my OBS video, but them little corner lights were not in real good, but now they are. Even though I'm having fucking electrical problems, but um, they're in pretty good. But as you can see, yeah. Not a ton has changed since y'all seen in the last YouTube video. So let me open her up a little bit. Oh, I got this little dash cover. I should have got it a long time ago, but she's been sitting out here for a long time and I don't want the dash to get messed up because this is a pretty mint dash. It's a little messed up, but it's pretty mint. Uh, I graduated this year, so I put this on. That's the only different thing. Uh, but yeah, let's pop the hood. Only the keys in there though. <laughs> Even though nothing's probably gonna happen, it's too old to lock on its own. It do got electric locks though. Okay, here we go. Let's look at it right now. Quick, just cover up. I got an air filter for it now. Um, been needing that. Carburetor right here. This is a, the Holly Street Warrior. It's a four barrel, one inch spacer. Uh, there's the intake. Y'all know that already though. Had to change that uh, temperature switch housing because Jenner broke it. Um, we're having some problems with the um, throttle body cable, not having any return or any spring. So we got this from AutoZone. That's working. We had some fuel problems with the return and because they were the fucking the hoses were blowing up like balloons. I don't know why, but um, we got some steel braided lines right there and we haven't had any problems. A fuel regulator put on. Um, we got the distributor wires all organized with zip ties or whatever. Zip ties for the wind. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that's different. This AC Duckle battery has been treating me real good because she'll be sitting for a long time and she'll start right up. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure what all this leaking is right here on the valve cover. We got brand new valve cover gaskets. Doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to just choose to ignore it. But, um, yeah, so far that's all new. That's all that there is new to it. Oh, and maybe the distributor in the back. It's a brand new distributor. Because uh, we were having some spark issue. It was just losing spark. It was just randomly loose. But like you turn it on, it will turn on. It'll idle. But it'll idle like, it'll idle good. But it'll only idle for like two minutes. And then it'll by itself just slowly turn off. And uh, it helped a lot having this crack on the header. We had a large crack on the header. That's a terrible weld, I know. I didn't do it. David did it. But um, there was a big ass crack right there. Like big ass crack. There are a couple people saw it. I'd get comments asking me like, "Hey, I know you went to Aces and you got um, you got an exhaust leak or whatever." Now it wasn't Aces' fault. I had a cracked header, so sound, a little bit of sound would escape from there, and then it would uh, do a little back pressure and it'll do a little pops or whatever. So I mean, it was a little problem, but uh, David had a welder. So it was just fucking. I wasn't recording. I don't know why I did and I forgot. But um, we went and just sealed the crack up. It was terrible well, but that bitch is gonna hold. It's gonna hold. That's about all that's different with it. I mean, there's not much left to do at all. At all. There's not much left to do at all. She'll start up. She'll start right up right now. Idle real nice. I mean, she runs fine. She runs super fine. 
runs fine. Now there are some little kinks that we gotta work out before prom. That's my deadline, prom. I need to get this ready for prom. A lot of stuff is gonna happen this month. She's gonna get slammed, she's gonna get, um, everything, everything has to happen this month. First, let me see if she'll even start up. She should. There you go, she primed. I like to give the carburetor one pump before it starts. change hub bearings and everything that day we did everything that day it's turning pretty good right now i don't know why it's not clacking or anything i right, go clacked a little bit 
but uh oh there's a truck in the way god damn it fuck well that sucks oh no it fell oh i think this is a sight to see bro look at that operating temp right there perfect plenty of oil pressure about a half a tank the battery's working good. That e-brake light stays on for no fucking reason. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna see what's up with that truck in the shop. I was supposed to come in first. He was supposed to be here for a little bit. As you can see, it's raining a little bit. So, let me go work out the situation with the truck. To, I just tried to pull it in like two times. First, I tried to pull it in, and that blue truck was in the way, right? Yeah. And then I tried to, and then uh, me and Jenna we went and tested out the Nissan that we did the motor swap in, and I was gonna come back and pull the back truck in, and now there's a fucking van in there, like a big ass van. So I pulled it back out, and then they fixed the van, like they moved this, so and now there's room for the black truck. And then as soon as I get back in to go and so, so uh, I'm about to say supuestamente, uh, how do you say? It? Supposedly to go in there and um, uh, no, I know, but I I couldn't find the word in English. I couldn't, I was gonna go and uh, fix the van, but they already fixed it for me. So now I'm about to go put it in for real this time, man. Okay. That's what I was telling them, this bitch runs and drives, ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. I can't see shit. 